Hi, lesson slate for the week for Easter number five. Five, five, five. Um, we are, there's scriptures listed in the Come Find Me manual. There's 10 of them. I prayerfully picked five. And while we're reading them, we're asking the questions, how has Christ made a difference in your life and why is he important to you? So for each of these scriptures, we're looking at that question around that scripture. So for this last one, we're in Moses 5, 9 to 12. Um, and that reads, this is an account of um, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So that reads, And in that day the Holy Ghost fell upon Adam, which beareth record of the Father and the Son, saying, I am the only begotten of the Father from the beginning. Henceforth and forever, that as thou hast fallen, thou mayest be redeemed, and all mankind, even as many as will. And in that day Adam blessed God and was filled and began to prophesy concerning all the families of the earth, saying, Blessed be the name of God, for because of my transgression my eyes are opened, and in this life I shall have joy, and again in the flesh I shall see God. And Eve, his wife, heard all these things, and was glad, saying, Were it not for our transgression, we never should have seed, and never should have known good and evil, and the joy of our redemption, and the eternal life which God giveth unto all the obedient. And Adam and Eve blessed the name of God, and they made all things known unto their sons and their daughters. Isn't that cool? Um, I just, for this talking around that, is knowing where they came from, that's their experience that they had by that transgression, yes, which they had to repent of, taking of the fruit of the tree of knowledge and good and evil. But they said, our eyes were open and we shall have joy in this life. We will get to have a body. They saw the plan. They knew why. They got, they got it and they were happy. They weren't depressed about it. They weren't like, oh, it's going to be really hard. They were happy. Yes, the hard comes. But they were joyful in that moment and they made sure they educated their children on the same pathway and understanding of it. That we will get to see God again in the flesh. How cool is that? Right? It's just the joy around it. It's not that banishment from the Garden of Eden that you might think. Yeah, it was hard and yeah, they didn't want to leave probably because it was beautiful. Like I wouldn't have wanted to leave. It sounds pretty nice to me. Um, we're looking for a house right now, as many of you know, and a lot of the places we look at, I'm just like, mm, that ain't no Garden of Eden for me, thank you. Um, and not that I need it perfect like that, but I would still want something nice, you know. I want something that's clean and, you know, not on top of ten other neighbours. I'm trying so hard, but we'll see. I know the Lord will provide. We'll get there. But, okay, so, in this, it's them knowing where they came from. Knowing the why of life brings a joy that surpasses earthly definition. It's not the joy of earth life. It's heavenly joy. It's celestial joy. It's a different kind of joy. Having our eyes opened, our spiritual eyes open, we know where to focus and bring that joy into our lives. It's our focus on Christ and his gospel that brings that joy. Joy does indeed come from and because of him. He is the most important thing in my life. He really is. I am because he is. And we looked at the I am some, week, some weeks ago about he's going to be for you what you need him to be that day. Today I needed strength to do this because I am not feeling very well. And I'll be fine. But no, not COVID, just life. Um, <laughs> many other issues I have. Um, I could all hear you asking that question. No, no COVID yet. But it was hard to get moving today. And I needed strength to do this today. Because I love doing this. To share with you guys my testimony every week. Around how wonderful Christ is. So he gave me strength and he gave me words for this today. But he will be what you need him to be. So I get to be who I am. Because... He is who he is. And I kind of like that. Um, he is the source of all joy. The all-encompassing difference. And that to me is the most important thing in my life. He is the all-encompassing difference in my life. And that is the most important thing to me. I am. I am because he is. Again. 
my friend, saviour, strength, light, hope, joy and peace. Thanks be always and everything to Jesus Christ. So this Easter, when you sit there with your families, whether you go to church, we have conference weekend here in New Zealand because last week we didn't get to watch it because you guys have it on what is our Monday. Um, so we'll be watching that. But for those of you that go to church, remember Easter, it's not about chocolate. Yeah, there's many symbols that you can go around and, and sure, have some chocolate too. I'm not stopping you from the chocolate. But take that meditative moment to just think about not just the Easter story, and yeah, read that. If that's a tradition in your home, read that. Um, enjoy that. Embrace that. Of course, have those traditions. They're fantastic. But ask those questions around scriptures that you're reading, whatever scriptures you choose to read. How has Christ made a difference in your life? And how is he important to you? Because it's going to be different for all of us. But I think we'd all have that same theme and knowing that that is the source of all our strength and our joy and our hope. He is our rock. We are tethered to him and that is the safest place to be right now especially. Um, yeah, our spiritual survival depends on our relationship with Christ. So carry the light, have it in you, embrace it, reflect it out there to everybody, tell them you love them. All right. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'm glad I didn't actually cry through that one because usually when I get that talking about Christ or somebody starts playing, I know that my Redeemer lives, so that'll start just like getting me and I'll cry every time. I can never get through that whole entire hymn. Yeah, so thank you. Um, I'll be posting extra little things this Easter week. You'll probably have seen them already, but this will go up on what is Good Friday. And remember what happened on Good Friday. And that all of that was for you and me. For you and for me. All of us. No matter what we look like or where we are, what circumstance we're in. It's for all of us. Just take a moment and pause on that. And then the glory that comes on Monday. Because that's amazing. Alright, love you guys. I'll see you next week. Will we join Moses back in the desert with the Israelites. Okay, see you there. Have a good weekend. Bye guys.